Sus. Whoa! <laughs> so right here you gotta give me a look, you know. Okay. And then we go on. Right, I mean, if you go on, then we go right. to F. Peter's been a hero of mine for years. I grew up listening to him with Larry Goldings and Bill Stewart, so uh, it's a personal uh, pleasure and honor to be here playing his, his new music. It's all really beautiful stuff. It's all mostly original music by Pete, which we had a chance to um, play with and develop at the Village Vanguard last year. So it's, it's familiar territory and really beautiful platforms for us to search and explore together. standards and a, a few originals by Pete and there's a, a pretty interesting wide spectrum of, of uh, influences you know Pete and Bill play together quite a lot I played with Bill quite a lot and Gerald is kind of in a way one of the newcomers to the group but he's just he's got this uh, thing it just kind of fits right in big ears you know he really listens so yeah it's just it's good good band chemistry I think I first met Peter at uh, William Patterson College when we were both students there Shortly after that, well, around the 80, 88, 89, we started playing with Larry Goldings and started doing an organ trio. We played at um, a club uptown, Augie's, which of course became Smoke. We've been playing for many years, and I've also played with Peter in quartets and his own groups, and uh, Peter's one of my favorite musicians, uh, and, and a unique musician, um, has his own approach, very lyrical, very to the point, you know, he's just a beautiful player and, and great time and great groove and great sound. And so it's great that we could do this date, you know, with uh, Gerald and with Doug, and uh, it's, it's really a lot of fun. playing with this band. I have a, a long history with Bill and uh, with Doug Weiss. We go way back to the, our school days, but Gerald is someone I just started playing with in the last couple of years. And uh, four of us did a week at the Village Vanguard back in May. It just felt good. So when I was talking to Paul about doing a session for him, I thought about trying to get all these guys and trying to record this little group of tunes that kind of were, came together around, you know, in a, in a bunch, you could say. In this situation, I'm kind of like, or out front as the horn, so I'm not really comping or even concerning myself with playing a lot of chords, chordal solos, just because the sound of the trio feels really complete and I enjoy just kind of being a horn player sometimes and just playing single notes and working on the sound of a note as, as opposed to just playing, you know, if it was a quartet with a horn, then he'd be playing the melody, so it's just a different, different role, but I always feel like it's, you know, it's people that have to play together, not the instruments. The main thing, for me was try to record some of these original tunes that uh, you know if I don't play them nobody will play them so but it's uh, it feels good these guys really play play the music great and they can play anything. Mm -hmm. 